your first alert weather. Good morning, everyone. Connor Knuckles filling in for Jeff Roper here. Let's dive right in and get into the things you are here for. You are here for weather, and I'm going to give it to you. Pocatello, <laughs> it's 15 degrees in Pocatello, 10 mile an hour winds, and uh, it, we've had we've had some 20 mile an hour gusts there earlier, so I uh, hope you hold on to your hat today when you're out and about. 17 mile an hour, 17 mile an hour gusts in Idaho Falls, and double digits for the most part uh, everywhere. So again, th that cuts right through you. So bundle up if you're wearing something like a like a sweatshirt, don't wear something warmer because you're going to get cold and you're going to bug your mom about it and she's not going to like it. So <laughs> wear, wear your winter coat, please. Uh, Viper radar, we do have uh, another storm coming in. I know it just it feels like we've just been getting bombarded one after another, but uh, one's coming in from the northwest. They just got hit right around Christmas time. Um, my parents came back from Hawaii. They went to Hawaii for Christmas and they come back to snowy Washington. So there's, there's a little bit of a weather culture shock for you. So Tuesday at 6 a.m. Uh, nothing too crazy to brag about, uh, but now, okay, noon, it's, it's going to be coming. It's coming in by Wednesday at 4 a.m. It's here. Island Park, you especially, you guys, we're going to be feeling quite a bit of it. Uh, we'll, we'll be getting some here in the Lower Snake River Plains in the mountain communities. So there it is for you. And by noon, or excuse me, by one on Wednesday. It's here and we're going to have snow. So expect plows to be out. Dig yourself out of your cars. Uh, plan ahead, plan ahead. And by Thursday, it kind of goes away for a bit, but it's, you see, it's coming right back. It's going to come back into here. And by 11 p.m. Thursday, we're back into the snow. So uh, expect some snow coming into your New Year's. I uh, hope that's in your resolution because uh, it's coming. Uh, temperatures right now mostly in the teens for everybody. Some people are still in the single digits and it's not going to warm up much today. We're all still going to be in the teens. Some people get in the high teens flirting with the 20s and then we have uh, a few other communities in the single digits as well. So let's get to the reason you're here. You're here for the eight day forecast as much as I like to think you're here for me. I know you're here for this and yes, my ego has been hurt. It is snowing, right? It's going to be snowing on Wednesday, 22 <laughs> on Wednesday, 23 Thursday and 22 Friday. Uh, and then we get there's a uh, we're going to have a little lull uh, from the snow coming up in the weekend, uh, hitting 10 and go, dropping down to negative two by Saturday to start the New Year's up. Uh, Pocatello, 26, 29 and 26 in the next three days for you guys expect snow as well. Again, there's that lull there, 15 by Saturday, but you'll be warming back up to 30 by Monday, so that'll be nice there if you uh, if that's the kind of cold temperature you like <laughs> Rexburg again you guys are going to be snowing there's that little bit Rexburg you guys are getting whew, really chilly on Saturday nine degrees on that Saturday and a low of negative two potentially so uh, another reason to bundle up right there uh, Blackfoot uh, there we are, but there's Blackfoot. We've got 24 in Blackfoot on Wednesday, and it's going to be snowing through Friday, ringing the New Year's, dropping to 11 on Saturday, We're heating back up to 20 on Sunday, and getting to the mid uh, upper 20s uh, to start next week. Salmon. Similar story, going to be snowing Wednesday. You guys are going to have a little dip until you heat back up into the 30s going into next week. And Jackson, you guys are snowing as well. You guys are snowing up until Friday. And then you got a little sun peeking up, but then back to the snow for you guys. You guys, you guys know the routine. You get the snow. That's your thing. And now let's go ahead and take a live look over Jackson here. Now, earlier we saw the snow plows. Oh, there's a few. Okay, those are cars. Darn it. I'm, I'm trying to catch those snow plows. I want to thank them live on air while I see them. Um, I hope I get that opportunity. So snowplows, do one more round for me, please. If you're watching this in Jackson, just just get out. Do a lap for me, please. All right, back to you, Emma. All right, thanks, Connor. We'll come it up after.